let's stick to an AFC team. We talked about when we we have a video about this tight end free agency class being the best tight end free agency class ever. Multiple fran- guys were franchise tagged because of that because they couldn't let him go. Multiple guys have already gotten signed. One of the guys that we listed in that video as extremely underrated, and we wanted him to re-sign with his team because it would be super smart. Mo Ali Cox in the yeah. Indianapolis Colts Mo- signed Mo Ali Cox to a three-year deal. I didn't write down the numbers, but it was like a three-year, forty million. Like he got a very good payday. Yeah, for a three-year, thirty-six. Like he he got a really good yeah. payday. Sure. He yeah. When we it. played when we played the Colts, um, you know, we we thinking of the Colts, we think of Jack Doyle. Jack Doyle. Okay. Yeah. So there, the the announcers like, yeah, Mo Ali Cox is finally getting his time to come up here. He's a really good receiver, uh, kind of like a vertical threat, not necessarily like a blocker. Yeah. But like he just tore us up. Yeah, he just tore us up. Just right down the middle of the field. Just twenty foot strike, thirty or twenty yard strike, thirty yard strike. Yeah, he's a um, yard strike out. Like, I know people aren't that interested in like the nerdy cut side of football, but when it comes to like a tight end with eye skills and ball skills, he's right up there. Like, if you over the shoulder is not an issue for him. Oh yeah. Over he can a defender, go up and get it, yeah, yeah, he can go up like and get it too, yeah. He knows where the ball's going. He's just, I, I don't know if that's a high football IQ thing or what, but he plays like somebody who just knows what's going on at all times. Yeah, and that's why I think what makes him, I, I would call that football IQ. Yeah, he's just, he, he seems like if you send him on a ten yard out, he knows when the ball's coming to him, and no matter what, what if it was Jacoby Brissett, Carson Wentz, it doesn't matter. He knows. Maybe he just puts uh, in that work and practice. Yeah, he just knows. Every quarterback he's had, yeah. he just – he's so great. Um, yeah. I'm super happy for him. Another big thing that they did, though, one of their best wide receivers ever, Reggie Wayne, has been signed to their team. Yep, he's coming back out of retirement. Reggie Wayne, we've said they needed weapons. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he's going to be the wide receiver coach. Yeah. yeah. So, and, you know, they got a lot of young wide receivers. Yeah. No, I think it'll help these young guys kind of – make a mark uh, become a little bit more reliable in the passing game but i still don't think they have a quarterback yeah we'll have to see what they do there but it jimmy looks g, like maybe. it's gonna end up being jimmy g if i had to guess just because jimmy g hasn't been signed places and the other guys that they were looking at kirk got an extension trubisky has been signed like some of the other guys that they wanted yeah. that maybe they go get baker mayfield but yeah they don't really have like, somebody throwing to them Tyrod Taylor was signed. Teddy Bridgewater was signed. So like, yeah, some of those bridge guys. Yeah, bridge guys. Bridge yeah, water, a lot of these sorry. guys that they, uh, I think they would target are getting signed. So maybe maybe Taylor Heineke ends up there. I think he signed a two year extension with Commanders though. So I think he's got the Commander one more year with the ex- Commanders. So I don't know who they get. Somebody's got to throw him the ball. Yeah. <laughs>